Okay. Um, so I obviously we've got the collab stuff here now. Um, I didn't get to summon. I mean, I did get to summon already. Uh, as you can see, I don't have all the resources I had up there uh, that I did before. I had like 2,000 bookmark or something. Um, but yeah, so I've already pulled for Amelia. I've pulled for Rem. Um, but I was kind of sick with <laughs> with COVID at the time. So um, I didn't really feel like making a video and all that stuff. And I just kind of like I was in bed most of the time. So I just decided to summon. Um, but yeah, now uh, I've gotten, I've sort of uh, gotten over that. Um, so I decided to make another video. Um, we have enough left over that I can pity a rem. So what I want to do is probably pull for a little bit just to have another, um, just to have more um, designer a little bit merges because I need the crit chance that her uh, imprint gives her. Um, and I'd like another rem. My rem is currently five star uh, max awake and everything. Um, I pulled for two rems so we can come over here and take a look at this. Actually, the second ram is in here. The Amelia, I went all the way to Pity, um, but I got two of her artifacts, which is fine. Um, with Ram, I actually got her on the first 10 pull. I got her on the first 10 pull, and then um, I just went for another one. I didn't get, I didn't hit Pity for the second one either, so that was pretty cool. But if you go to Promotion, I don't want to look for the other one, I, but she should be here. So my other ram is right here. So I have two rams. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a third and just leave it at that in terms of um, her imprints, because uh, she actually has a pretty good uh, imprint given that it's crit chance. Uh, and as you can see up there, I have uh, six ML summons and I'm gonna use them all. Um, normally you wanna save those stones for imprints for, uh, what's his name, strays. But uh, I don't have the gear to build a decent strays. Like my strays is like 160 speed, 4500 attack, and like uh, you know 280 crit damage or something like that. I don't have the the gear to make a two uh, you know because basically what you want is a 240 speed um, a 240 speed strays. You want them to be fast and just like one shot someone real quick, and then uh, whatever happens after that is basically free. Um, so you kind of want a faster strays than the high damage strays. So I don't have the gear for that, and so he's just kind of going to be on the back burner. I still use him every now and then because uh, even though he's slower and it takes him a, lo a little longer, uh, just a free kill on a very tanky unit on the other side is um, obviously very good. So uh, that's what. So my point being that I'm not going to use those stones to give him imprints because uh, I just can't be asked right now. Because um, while Strays is all right, like I said, I don't have the gear to make a really good Strays. So. Uh, we're going to uh, just summon here our daily summons if we get anything. Uh, also, I want to summon before the new ML hits. Is, is yeah okay? So I want to summon before uh, Ocelot comes in because uh, I don't know. I, I mean he's fine. I'll probably talk about him. I guess a little bit. Uh, attacks all enemies before, before increasing attack for all turns and increasing combat readiness by twenty percent. Uh, increase evasion of the caster for three turns. So basically, you kind of want him to be like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Operator Cigarette. You just have him go first. Um, attack everyone. Attack buff. 20% uh, CR increase. And then just have him uh, be evasive. So he has evasion, right? So you kind of want him to be an opener to go first. Uh, if the enemy's health is less than 30, so basically if someone's close to death, right? Uh, his job is basically to come clean him up. So... Turn one, he goes, gives everyone an attack buff, um, and then everybody starts attacking. Are they necessarily going to start, like, you know, decreasing people to below 30 that fast? Who knows? But um, increases common readiness by, what, 50%? Uh, uh, 40, uh, let's see, 5, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, he goes first, someone goes after him, and, and you know, theoretically, in, with with your three units, you can get someone below 30%, um, and then he gets boosted forward 50% with perception, uh, and then he just S1s them, and uh, theoretically you should kill them. Uh, sharply cuts the enemy to uh, to attack when the use on, uh, when used on the caster's turn, 
If he's got perception, uses demolition instead. Demolition attacks the enemy with a sword. Yeah, to the target's lost health. So basically, he's an exec he's an executioner, uh, given why his name is Closer Charles, right? So that's kind of the way he works. Um, uh, again, like I said, I don't really have the speed gear to because you basically have to kind of build him like um, like uh, ML uh, M uh, like strays. Um, but yeah, it's proportional to the to the target's lost health, and if they're less than thirty because he got boosted up, then you know basically he's just here to like assassinate a guy. Um, yeah, and then you know decreases cooldown of uh, of this. Um, uh, five turns, four turns, so three turns after he kills a guy. Uh, funnily enough, yeah. So. Uh, so this perception can only be activated once every two turns, but I wonder if this CR push is every two turns. Because 50%, imagine 50% twice. Like someone, let's say you put someone below 30 and he gets the 50% and then someone else hits him again and then he gets another 50%. Uh, he's from 0 to 100 and like he's got the next turn, right? Uh, but I think maybe this, this even the CR push is also um, once every two turns, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, basically, like I said, he's the opener. Uh, your teammates do stuff, he gets boosted forward, and then he s one someone, if he's got perception, he does extra S1 and it does more damage, right? Um, I think that's fine, but I, again, I don't really have the gear for that, so, uh, I, I might pull for him later, but for now I need to pull to either get a dupe, so I can get 40 coins in the shop, uh, or get something new, which, like, I'm in dire need of, uh, ML Haste or something like that, so... That's kind of why I'm just going to pull these. Plus, I can get some of the new three stars. Uh, so, first things first, we're going to pull for um, Lilibet here. Uh, we have enough to pity for each one. So, it's not that big a deal. Um, yeah. So, we're just going to get in here and uh, try to get... Oh, let's see if we get her. It'd be really nice to just get a little bit, like, early and not have to worry about it, but... It looks like it's not happening right now. Uh, more Perguses. Uh, Pergus disappeared. I remember when everyone was like, no, you don't understand. His AoE counterattacks, really, they're broken. And then it's just like, you realize that like everyone farms that. Like, I mean, everyone's running regular G Perg, so that's like free um, CR push and his counters. Like I was saying, and that's what I was saying when people were suggesting like that was a good idea. Like for one, his counters. Okay, yeah, sure, he AOE counters, but it doesn't like it doesn't do nearly enough damage. Uh, for two, we've already got too many fire units in the meta, and even at, even when he was there, like he just made some of the some of the fire units better. So I don't know. Um, yeah, his counters were just kind of lame. Um, he was grass, so I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, he he did have good matchups, right? But like. Was he gonna was he gonna counter SSB who was like the biggest one of the bigger threats at the time? No um, Oh, well, there you go uh, SSB just like <laughs> farms his AoE counters uh, So we got this uh, That's a second copy of that actually um, But yeah, so like I don't know it, 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 it's never made any sense to me why people were, like invested into a uh, green perg because uh, he's basically just free like every unit like benefits from being hit so like everyone's running G perg Now everyone's running well. I mean at the time they weren't running um, Researcher carrot, but now they are so that's something for those of you guys to consider um, But yeah, so uh, The only reason I'm doing this too is because I have enough to pity not only Not only do I have enough to pity a little bit. I also have enough to pity another um, Rem, but then on top of that, I also have enough to pity the Iceria that's coming, which uh, is the summer Iceria. So, uh, I wouldn't suggest doing this otherwise. Uh, I'm just kind of dumb, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, so like, yeah, that was that was weird. come on. Nope, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, G Perg is. Like uh, regular per Pergus is, he looks fun, and like the the fact that he AOE counters looks kind of interesting. But you have to be very like 
conscious of, of what you're spending molas and like resources on um and gear and all that stuff like and spending it on someone like him is just not it's not worth it man okay so it looks like we might have to pity her we're not we're not down to halfway yet so you know this could still be her but i don't have a very particularly good feeling about uh getting her Uh, funnily enough, we haven't gotten any of the new three stars yet. There we go. <laughs> I just said uh, we hadn't. Uh, this is the one with the uh, effect resistance, right? 50% uh, of our effect resistance. She looks kind of interesting, but like an RTA, it's hard to draft her in, in conjunction with anyone. And like... For, for, two, for one, you know, she needs a lot of stats already because she's a three-star. So if that's kind of like an uphill battle she's already dealing with. Um, Magahara's Tome. Magahara's and Tagahels. People have been needing a lot of Tagahels lately. I'm not sure what for. I don't I don't know. I mean, it's a good, it's a good artifact. Soul-burning stuff is kind of dumb, especially like on turn one. Um, like, I, I'll bring... Uh, G per again with uh, come on, please be a little bit. I'll bring G per again with like um, with uh, what's her name with researcher carrot, and then I'll bring in like Crow as well, and like that that, that combination is ridiculous because uh, Crow gets the soul burn his S three turn one, um, and then you know basically you get that's free. You know, so next time he comes around, it's faster. So you just pressure people harder with the, all the damage that Crow does because he just does true damage. Um, but in addition to that, but in addition to that, uh, you can also soul, soul burn uh, G Perg's S3, and then the attack buff comes up faster so that the next time you rotate around, um, you're, can, you're they're synchronized, right? So you can have your. You can uh, attack buff again when carrot's gonna S three. Now, granted, you don't get the you don't get the soul burn carrot to S three if you burn it uh, if you waste it on uh, Crow and G Perg. But I think the the combination of like the true damage that Crow's doing anyway, um, with the fact that you're getting uh, immunity, and G Perg's like you know a higher rate of, of of attack buff now, or faster attack buffing now is like ridiculous. Um, so I think it more than makes up for not just like popping one person. Uh, that was the other person that I wanted to that I wanted to mention for the ML summons. Um, I really wanted a uh, an ML Kawazu. I couldn't summon when he came out though because he was with like a unit I didn't need or, or. Oh, I think no, yeah, I don't remember who who he was with, but I was like, yeah, I don't need that. Or it was a dupe or something. Oh, come on. <sighs> nope. Uh, funnily enough, I actually haven't even gotten any of the uh, the banner artifacts, which is fine by me because I don't really want any creation destructions, but um, it's just interesting. Um, creation destruction is actually pretty interesting uh, as an artifact. For those of you who, who saw uh, Five Finger Shuffle's video on uh, like Stray's build, he got the S3 like three turns in a row because of the creation and destruction. Um, which, I mean, obviously that's not going to happen like most of the time. That was like a freak of like, <laughs> you know, uh, like a freak accident almost. Um, but still, it's interesting that it like it can happen. So we're a little under halfway to pity here. Hopefully this clicking isn't too uh, annoying to whoever's watching. Nope. Hillags lands. Oh, come on. Hillags is actually pretty interesting on someone like, uh, come on, someone like uh, Fire Charlotte. 
because uh, either you hit her and she has like the exclusive equipment and um, you hit her and she boosts forward or you decide to not hit her and she still boosts forward so I don't know it's, it's, it's pretty it's pretty fun uh, to, to be stealing so many turns uh, of course you have to have like a pretty decently built uh, fire Charlotte for that to be uh, relevant at all so speaking of like um, regular Purgus and his AoE counters. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, what's her name? Rem is actually pretty irritating, um, which is why I decided to pull for another one because I was like, well, she's. <laughs> I was playing an RTA and she like soloed my whole team. Uh, it was actually pretty ridiculous. Um, she's pretty annoying because she kind of has that SSB thing going on where, um, you know. She does a, a lot of AoE stuff, but one of the things about it is that, like, SSB can be countered by just bringing, um, what's her name? Uh, Rowana. But you can't really counter Rem the same way, because then you bring Rowana, and it's just like, okay, she, she just doesn't counter, right? Uh, and then, like, you don't get anything. So the fact that it's actually RNG-based kind of makes it beneficial to her, because, like, it's not the chances is of it going off are not guaranteed and they're not high enough like SSB where you can bring Rowana in and be like oh yeah I'll be fine um, but they're also not low enough that like not having Rowana is good or bad hey, I think this might be the first one I got of her I forgot what she does a bunch of these were knights counterattacking speed barrier decrease whatever Caster two. This is actually pretty. This looks pretty. She looks pretty fun. Um, but again, like they get three stars, they get kind of crippled by the fact that they don't have like stats. Like if you're gonna have like a tanky, like again, like this is the same with the other one with the the shares that ER. If you're gonna have like a really tanky, like you know, unit, you kind of need all the stats you can get. And the fact that you're already crippled by the fact that you're just a three star, um, it's one of the bigger problems that she has. Another Mega Heras. I didn't want to. I didn't want to like. I was hoping with the 800 that I had, I could have just like pulled it. I still could, right? We can go to the Rem one and then like I'll pull Rem in like 200 bookmarks or something. Um, but you know, here it goes. But yeah, and one of the things that is also kind of hard for like her to count, like one of like with with SSB, like you can just counter her with like immunity and then Rowana or something like that. Uh, but problematically, it's hard to counter. Um, yeah, I need more of those. I did it used to, but not anymore. Uh, it's kind of hard to counter. Um, Rem because like she has an irresistible strip on that same uh, AOE counter and it provides heal block which uh, basically shuts down what Rowana is gonna do now you, obviously you still get the CR push but like as someone who who takes um, G perg into her all the time the CR push when she counters and hits G perg like it, it's kind of comparable to the 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 the, um, the CR push you're gonna get from Rowana and it really, a lot of times, it isn't, even, it isn't enough. Like, she just does way too much damage, like, with that counter attack. It's interesting. I think, for, I guess, for anyone wondering uh, what I think the build on her should be, I really do think, like, the slowest possible uh, counter set is what you need on her. Uh, just because the, what's that, the, the buff that she has, um, the uh what is it the demon mode or whatever that buff lasts only two turns and it takes like five turns to get it and i still didn't get her it takes like five turns to get it um so it's not like you want to hang on to the buff as long as possible because she can't be debuffed and she has infinite uh effectiveness while she has the buff on i've been getting a lot of golds but like <laughs> Not the not what I'm looking for here. 
I always wanted to make a regular Cartuja as well, but uh, he's really hard to he's really hard to do. Um, he requires way too many stats. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I really think he wanted to be as slow as possible so that the uh, the buff lasts as long as possible. Um, and it's kind of annoying because it's not very helpful that she gives herself fifty percent CR boost on her S three. Um, but it is what it is. Because that's like a whole turn wasted if you haven't gotten the buff yet. So now if you go to S3 first and then you get the buff after, that's fine. But um, yeah. So let's see. Is this? No. Okay, so one more. So I just wasted a pity to get a uh, designer Lilibet merge, which is kind of sad to me. Um, especially because I have, a, I have a regular green Lilibet. So my regular green Lilibet is already six star and she has two, like she's at B. So like I could have fed those into <laughs> designer a little bit, but whatever, it's gone now. Uh, so there we go. Let's take these 41, uh, we need 42. So let's come over here and start summoning away here. Hopefully we can make up our, our misfortune on the little bit banner by just pulling her relatively early. Come on, nope. Uh, the artifact would be all right because I'm still grinding the side story and uh, more merges on that would be fine. Actually, one thing I didn't realize was that the artifact boosts your CR uh, no matter how many, like as long as someone dies, you get the CR push, which is kind of interesting. I thought it was like the first time someone dies, you get the CR push, but no, it's uh, it's as many times as it is, is it as it needs to happen, I guess. Got a lot of wondrous potion vials, so there's a lot of gold, but not a lot of the gold we need. Let's see. Um, wow, there's actually quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of those. I don't exactly, um, trying to figure out. We had 200 bookmarks and it's looking like we're not gonna, <laughs> it's looking like we're probably gonna have to pity another rim, which is kind of sad. Uh, I really don't like um, buying the packs, but it's like to the point right now where uh, grinding out the secret shop for refreshes is pretty irritating. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just feels a lot more tedious for some reason. But you really kind of want to be doing that because uh, Mystic Metals are actually pretty important. Um, but whatever. Uh, well, we're here. We'll, uh... Ooh, that was weird. It's lagging. What just happened? I wonder if that came through with you guys. That's kind of weird. Come on, Rem. Yeah, so Rem's been getting kind of on my nerves a lot in uh, RTA, so I just decided, you know, forget it. We're going to have to build her, so uh, I'm going to have to, like I was saying, I'm going to have to put her on the slowest counter set I can get. Um, she can be kind of tanky uh, without an HP ring or something like that. Like, you can, you can hit, like, if you're probably, like, crit damage... Uh, attack and attack for a necklace and boots you can hit her you can hit it with like what uh, 16,000 HP 14 14 to 16,000 HP like without an HP or or, or HP ring or, or boot um, which that's a lot of damage because if, one of the interesting things it's like fortunately uh, she doesn't actually do health based damage which I feel like uh, they, they could have easily just been like oh yeah she does uh, health damage uh, she scales off of health 
uh, and I think that would have made her a little a little bit too strong because um, as it is now you can like build her decently tanky with high attack and like she just destroys people more lots so I got five summons left before I have to go um, pull for some packs uh, let's see I'm actually, funnily enough, I'm actually enjoying using like green lots right now. Um, yeah, I actually like really considering running him on like a team, like like in RTA and stuff like that, like building him up and putting him in RTA. Uh, not really, not 100% convinced yet, but mind you, um, <laughs> let's see if it's this one. Please be the last, <laughs> the last of my bookmarks. Come on, Rem. Yes. <laughs> we didn't have to go to pity, so um, our luck kind of evened out. With those 800, we actually got what we wanted, so that's pretty cool. Um, 42 is how many of these we wanted, so we can get them all uh, as this. So let's go get us some some uh, galaxy bookmarks. Uh, what do you see. think? Uh, we can get seven summons. Let's go do seven summons. Um. Let's see. Let's see if we get anybody. Okay, nobody. What I could use is not Sven's, but I could use more Mercer's because I like her her speed imprint. So Sven, uh, Axe God. Uh, so three three stars so far. There's Gunther. All right, let's see, let's see. Come on. Uh, Moonlight. I need either ML. Uh, uh, well, I needed ML Kawazu, hopefully. Hey, Aether's a really good one too because that's basically 70 free uh, silver transmit stones. So we got three more. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I did need I did need more Sonyas. Two more, so one more. Oh, this is one of the new ones. Let's see what we got. Is it that uh, that assassin? Because that assassin's not that good. Is this the one with yeah Penelope? Penelope Trevanti. When it comes to skill and bravery, I'm second only to the queen. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, she like okay, so she she takes away the uh, fighting spirit or focus, which isn't that big a deal most of the time, unless it's like SSB. But the thing is, SSB gets us back so fast that it doesn't matter, right? So, um. She has what, eighty, so one hundred percent decrease attack and then stun, which is all right. But it's one of those things where it's like, uh, what's her name? Obviously, she's like a almost like a degraded version of um, a Akali because a Akali stuns, and if she kills, she silences everyone. Um, and she just has stealth in her S two like permanently all the time. Plus, uh, she has like the highest like soul burn damage on the S two in the entire game. Uh, decreases buff duration of all allies for one turn before granting a barrier. So she gives herself a three turn barrier, but uh, she gets herself an extra turn, so like it's two turn barrier. Um, so you do this, get your barrier, uh, get the stealth, and uh, the barrier makes it harder to get out of stealth because uh, stealth reduces um, damage you take from AoE attacks by like 50% or something ridiculous. Um, so it's harder to break stealth because she's got the barrier around her with AoE attacks. Uh, attacks the enemy before increasing attack of the caster, so she gets up to 45% uh, attack. Uh, but you have to use the S3, so basically you S2, S3, and then S1, and then barely then she starts getting, she starts building the stacks on her S, on her, um, on her S1. Uh, but again, it's like you could just you could just use someone like uh, A. Coley and then have like built-in attack buff, uh, and then you know whatever else you want on there. And granted, so she's not like again, she's not like the worst. Uh, but if you're gonna invest like you have to invest a lot of stuff into her a lot of speed too um, When a call can just do the job better like why reduce their fighting spirit or or, um, or whatever and we got nothing um, Why reduce their fighting spirit and and um, and focus when you can just straight up kill them, right? So it's kind of the, the deal with that 
Uh, so we're out of that, and that was basically all worthless. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we got lucky. Uh, fortunately, uh, hopefully Isaria is pretty good. Um, I don't want to have to triple S her because I don't have the, obviously I don't have the resources for that, but you know I'm sure she'll be good anyway. Uh, she's a limited unit, so for those of you who want to know if you should pull for her, I mean, you, even right now, before I've seen her kit, you you want to pull for her, just just do it. It doesn't really matter what what she does. Uh, anything limited is really worth pulling for. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to see what her artifact does, because I think the artifacts we got this time around were kind of lame. Um... They're not the worst. Like, this is pretty interesting. Um, if you have, like, a fast healer... <laughs> you have, like, a fast healer that takes their turns really quickly, um, then, you know, every turn, like, someone just gets hit, like, they'll they'll get health back, so... At 15, 20% of their max health, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, so this artifact's not that good, I don't think. Uh, and Azure Comet is also not really that good. So you get 24% every time someone dies. But if someone dies, like you need to, you need to be building stuff to help you like kill people. Because if you're playing, and you know you're doing a four v four, and then someone dies, right? You, now you're in advantage. You're in an advantage state where it's four v three. You're probably already gonna win. And the 24% you get off of this isn't really like it's not doing very much, right? Like. You need to be helping secure that first kill. Now, granted, sometimes it's useful, like if you're fighting Arby or something, who's like designed to die turn one. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's like it's not that. I don't know. I just I don't find it that useful. Uh, the other one that we got with Ram is kind of whatever as well. The only thing that's useful. I mean, the other thing that's kind of useful about this is the fifteen percent crit chance. Um, but this doesn't even work very well on Rem because, like we mentioned earlier, you kind of just want her to be slow. So, I don't know. Not really my thing. Uh, but yeah, so this artifact's actually useful, and I think we'll see it used fairly often on certain heroes. I'm not sure who, but... Well, actually, you know who could use this? Um, what's her name? The water one? Elena? Yeah, Elena could probably use this just because how much... That girl turn cycles like crazy now. Like it's not even funny. Um, so she can keep refreshing this, and then every time someone gets hit, they just get healed. <laughs> so you hit, you single target someone, and they get healed from that. You AOE target them, and then they get healed from her S two, and it's just like a nightmare. Um, I haven't fought that. But I'm just you know some suggestions. We don't have anything here to pull on. Uh, but yeah, well, I guess that's it for today. Um, interestingly enough, we didn't get any creation and destructions, but we did get like some other random artifacts. Um, and we got the little bit we wanted, so now we have more crit chance on our designer little bit. Uh, and I also have a, uh, I also pulled a, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's, it, what's his name again? Uh, Guider Aether, so we can just dump all our regular Aethers into him and, um, get out of here. Right away. So we can dump all our regular Aethers into him and then like get 70 uh, things. And I was actually running low on them and I needed more copies of them, so that turned out to be pretty lucky. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys uh, all managed to pull uh, who you wanted from this. Uh, I haven't built Amelia. I haven't even like taken her out of the box as you, as you can see there. She's still in the box. Um, just because like... She's fine. She's not bad. It's just that she doesn't do anything I don't already have, right? So like if you have made Chloe... She kind of does the same thing because she she takes off two debuffs and then um, gives you a barrier. Where maybe Chloe just gives you attack and um, attack and revive buff. Uh, she has attack buff too, but like it's only one person, uh, so you know uh, there are things you gotta weigh out. But yeah, she's not like the worst, so um, I'll probably end up using her at some point, just not right now. Uh, and then Ram, obviously, like I said. I've been, get, I've been getting kind of annoyed seeing her so much in RTA that uh, I really just got to build her uh, to either take it from them or, you know, just to use her just because she's good. And then, you know, designing a little bit more crit chance on her is always a good thing. Um, but yeah, so yeah, good luck on your guys' summons and uh, hopefully uh, I might do a video updating a few things on 
on Fire Emblem for anyone interested in that. But um, other than that, yeah, I think that's that's gonna be it for for now until probably Isaria comes out. Then you'll, you'll see a video then. Um, yep, that's it for today.